So a quick public service announcement, my friends over at Changing Lanes, which is another really great YouTube channel that you should definitely check out. I'll put a link in the description of this video to that if, uh, if you want to check them out. Well, they sent me a video that was kind of concerning. They installed the same access roll-up bed cover that I use on my truck after watching some of my videos. Uh, it, along with the Better Built Toolbox, that is a low-profile toolbox that works along with this bed cover, is a really great solution for folks who need a toolbox and bed cover that's compatible with most fifth wheel setups. Now this specific toolbox bed cover requires rails be attached to the inner part of your bed and they protrude inwards about three, three and a half inches and up about an inch and a half. And if you have a similar type bed cover, you might make contact with your pin box whenever you're turning. So the pin box that they were using at the time was the Flex Air pin box from LCI. It's part of their Trail Air series, and it has a large airbag with a hinging mechanism that provides dampening, along with a kind of a shock absorber at the front of it. It's a really great pin box, but it extends a little further out off the front of the fifth wheel than the one they ended up switching to, which is the Moride rubber pin box. So understanding the length of your pin box and how it can impact things is going to be really important. Now, in terms of the beacon that we have, the Van Lee beacon comes with a Rotaflex pin box from LCI. It's a more, more conventional style pin box. So it's going to be really interesting to see what my clearance tolerances are going to be there whenever I'm turning. And I'm probably going to shoot a video just to specifically show you how much of an angle I feel I can get out of it with my bed cover in place. Now, if I took the bed cover off, and I didn't have the rails protruding into the bed, I'd have much greater turning flexibility, but I like to keep it on, so I'm gonna share that with you whenever I can get out there and do a test. All right, so I went out to the Van Lee Beacon to shoot the rest of this video. I planned on doing a lot more, but the weather turned really nasty. However, I was able to do something inside of the RV that I think a lot of people were curious about. So let's head over that way. I'll be right back. What's going on guys? I'm out here at this beacon, which is beautiful. This is the Van Lee by Tiffin. It's their highest end model, the beacon. And I'm out just checking out some things. I loaded the propane tanks up, wanted to get them ready. But as you can probably tell, we got a bad storm that's about to come in. It's thundering and lightning and starting to rain. So I just wanted to go in and do a real quick inspection with some of these slides out. This is what I found out and it's really cool. So this is a really awesome touch panel right here. By retracting the galley slide, just a couple of feet, it gives you pretty much full access through the entire coach. So this is something a lot of people like to see and that's what these things look like with all the slide walls in. But check this out. You can actually make your way front to back in this unit by sliding this one slide out about two feet. Not even that, maybe a foot and a half. Now you're still gonna have a little difficulty getting into your refrigerator because Again, this sits kind of right up against this counter, so you won't be able to open that side. If you put that slide out maybe six inches, you'd be able to get around some of this stuff and to be able to open the door just a little bit to reach in and grab something you might need. But I just thought you guys might like to see that. You can hear the thunder kicking in outside. Wanted to make a real quick video about it because I know a lot of people wanted to see what it would look like. Anyways, it's about to start raining. I'm gonna get out of here. Yep, and there's the rain. Got nasty real quick. Anyways guys, I was planning on spending some time filming the RV. I figure I'll make this a short video so you guys can see how you can maneuver around the RV with the slides in, or at least with most of them in. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.